Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today I've got an interesting experiment to try out, and that is to try and create a cage for the farm bots. Now, I don't know if it's possible to create a cage that the farm bots will not be able to get out of. Now, some people have told me that these ramps are indestructible. I don't think, if that's true, I, I really am not sure if that's even intentional because everything that I've seen so far has an actual durability rating. So if I take, whoop, I forgot. I forgot that that's a trap and I trapped myself there. So if I take these ramps, I actually don't think I'm going to need these ramps for uh, this trap anymore. You see, these have a durability rating of six and I've heard claims that anything with a durability durability rating of six or higher is virtually indestructible to the smaller bots, maybe not the big red ones. But um, I'm not going to trust that. I'm going to assume everything is destructible. And still, I want to build a cage that might be able to keep a farm bot, whether it's a greenie or a hay bot, trapped inside of it. And the way that I'm thinking about doing that is by using our bouncy castle method, because when bots are here, they get ragdolled pretty much indefinitely and they can't they can't do any swings they can't do any damage or things like that so what if i create a box that has this kind of bouncy floor in it that is always on so when they come into the box and they're inside it they get ragdolled and then closed inside for good and we can just kind of keep them in there. Now, there are some potential limitations to this. One is, um, I don't think that they'll stay in there once we leave the area, because I'm pretty sure that whatever we build kind of despawns while we're gone. So they might just escape if we leave the cage behind. But I think it would be fun just to try it. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. By the way, quick update from the last episode where I did the dress bot unboxing. Um, I asked you guys to help me choose and it actually seemed like there was a lot of back and forth on which outfit people wanted. But this is seems to be the one that people mostly were leaning towards. So we're going to be going with the orange, red, yellow matching outfit here, which I think actually looks pretty cool. All right, so I have a decent amount of tier three metal here, so uh, I'm going to build it out of tier three metal. I hope this isn't like a waste, but I feel like this is at least if they can hit it, this is going to survive the longest at least. So yeah, let's hope that this is enough tier three metal. I'm also going to need some more logic gates and all this stuff. All right, I think I got all the materials I need. I got myself two level five pistons. I have a bunch of this tier three metal. I'm going to be using these three ramp pieces. I also have uh, two buttons for each piston because I'm going to use those in a certain way. And then, of course, a timer and some and a couple of logic gates. And that's going to create my bouncy floor uh, mechanism. So let's get building and I'm going to see if I can actually build myself a functional farm bot cage that we can then attach to maybe a vehicle and even just capture a farm bot and bring it back for whatever reason. That might be kind of fun. All right, now that the sun's coming up, I'm going to walk you guys a little bit through my process of what I'm thinking about for building this. Um, so we need the cage to have a definite bottom because gravity is going to determine which side of the cage they're going to be on. And we need them to be on the bouncy floor side at all times. So I think I'm going to use this ramp as uh, the way for them to easily be able to get up into it. Because we've had some hit or miss success with these steps when it comes to the smaller bots, like the green ones. The hay bots seem to walk up them no problem. So now, uh, now we have our piston on this floor, which is attached to the ramps, but now we need an entire floor attached to this piston, which I actually need one block higher if it's going to be in line with the top of this here, which I guess we could actually have it one block lower just in case. Yeah, let's have it one block lower just in case. That way, if it's, we can have it on at all times, and that way they could just step down, and when it's extending up, it doesn't go higher than the top of this ramp here. So yeah, that makes more sense to me. So to save on materials, I'm going to do something similar to what I did here. And I'm going to make it, it's going to look like a cage, basically. It's going to have a bunch of like lines that kind of make bars on the walls. I'm just going to make sure not to, wait, where's the center? All right, this is right next to the center. So the center is right here. Let me just mark that point. All right, so now I'm going to go from the edges and I'm going to create a kind of bar cage effect by just putting a bunch of holes like this but I'm going to make sure to leave contact well, one block buffer around the center piston area like this, just so I don't accidentally disconnect it from the actual piston mechanism that is going to be controlling this whole thing. All right, there we go. 
That's looking pretty good so far. All right, so I'm going to do the front wall by the ramps last because that's actually going to be the entrance that we need to keep open for them. So let's start at the back. And now how tall do we really need this cage to be? I'm thinking... I feel like that should be tall enough. And then they're bouncing around in here. I wonder if this is going to kill them. This might kill them. We might have to find... We might have to find a piston um, strength that is going to allow them to survive. Because we know that our bouncy castle over here, at least, ends up killing them over time due to gradual d impact damage. But I think our old bouncy castle didn't do any damage to them, so I gotta figure out what the difference was. Alright, I think that actually looks pretty good. Let's continue the wall over on this side, then. Alright, and then we've got the top. We're doing pretty good on materials. Oh! I have five left after doing this whole wall, so I'm gonna be getting a little bit more back now, though. But this is actually making me a little bit concerned. Are we going to have enough material for the door? I can probably make some more of this, but it's just so costly. Maybe I shouldn't have done this out of tier 3 metal. All right, I have 96 left to build the actual door. Am I going to be able to do that? All right, and then in order to build the door, I'm going to need to get on top. We're I'm going to use a piston door mechanism. So the piston is going to be able to go up and down. Where is the center? I think the center is right here. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, this door needs to be back one block, so we could actually get rid of this. And then put this right here. Yeah, because this is going to be coming up in line with the edge right here. Okay, so now piston goes there. This door extends out like that, and then it's essentially going to come straight down like this. Alright, now we have 34 blocks left, which gives us that much, but I think we might... We just might be able to get this back by carving out from the inside here. 53 blocks left. 41 blocks left. 29. And then, do I come down over here? Or, I think I just do that. We have it. With 26 blocks to spare, I think we've built our cage. So now, check this out. Um... All we gotta do is get our buttons. I'm gonna set this to range 15. This is gonna go really, really fast. I'm gonna go ahead and put the button on the side right here. And, oh, we gotta take it off the lift, hold on. There we go, and now, oh, that is not range 15. They really need to fix, uh, there's this bug with the pistons that the range and stuff gets reset. Oh, everything got reset. Fast. Range 15. That is... What is going on with this? There we go. Nope, that's also... Come on. There we go. Alright, we actually don't need range 15. We need range... 10. Range 10 works just fine. So now it's open. And it is closed. Open. And closed. And you know what? Just for stability, you can see that it's kind of... Um, it's kind of floppy on the piston here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on a lift, and we're going to reinforce this with another layer around. I'm using this for the bottom material, because I don't think this has a high risk of actually being damaged by anything. Alright, so now we should see a little bit more stability as this goes up and down. Yeah, look at that. Much better. Still a little bit of a flop going on, but that's a lot of weight going up and down, so I think it's going to be okay. So now we need to create the mechanism for that piston which is going to require some logic, which I'll actually insert. Um, oops, I'm gonna insert it under here. So this piston is going to go range one on as fast as it can go. And is it staying there? Yes, it is. I just realized I did this whole thing wrong, but I think it still might work. What I meant to do was have just the floor bounce but I think I attached the entire cage to the piston, which means the whole cage is going to bounce. But I think that's still an okay thing. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't realize that I was doing that. That wasn't part of my plan at all. All right, so let's just see if it works. This might be too heavy for the piston. If it's too heavy, that means I'm going to have to detach the rest of the cage from the actual piston and have just the floor be on the piston. All right, so we're going to set this to relatively fast. And we set one of these to a NOR gate, and then if we have this loop, there we go, we have the loop. And then I should just be able to attach this switch into the AND gate. And now we can turn it on and off. We attach the AND gate into the piston, 
And now let's see. It closes, and then what happens? Okay. I think I made a mistake. I'm going to attach the entire... Oh! Well, oh. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to detach the entire top section of this now. All right. So now I think it's ready. Oh, wow. That seems a little excessive. Here, let me get in. Oh, this is gonna... Yeah, that's that's way too... Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, that's gonna slam them against the ceiling. This is this is gonna be a killing cage. That sounds dark, doesn't it? All right, let's change the speed. Is that enough to ragdoll, do you think? This might be enough to ragdoll. I think it's about it's about finding that happy uh, medium. <laughs> the happy medium of torturing a haybot in a cage eternally. All right, and see, this is much, much better because even when it's not welded to the ground, it is still perfectly stable. I feel like I should have these on the same switch, actually. But one of these needs to be reversed, so I need another logic gate. Because I want the floor to turn on when the cage closes. So that way, when the cage is closed, they're bouncing around. When it's open, it's not bouncing around. All right, there we go. So floor is on, and then I open the cage, and the floor turns off. Close the cage, and the floor turns on. So I think that's going to work. All right, now I need to attach this to a vehicle so I can go ahead and pick up a bot with it. I might need to put, like, wheels on this or something. It's gonna be too front-heavy. Or back-heavy if I attach it to the back. I guess I could kind of build a trailer just for the cage, and then the cage can detach from the trailer. It's gonna have to be on the ground in order to pick up a bot. But then if I'm gonna drive with the cage, it can't be dragging across the ground. So this is gonna be another interesting part of the build here, then. All right, so this I am going to definitely not use Tier 3 Metal. I'm gonna go ahead and use this rusted... What is this called? Rusted metal. All right, let's have let's hope I have enough for a couple more wheels here. I just need small. Oh, I need wood. I don't have any wood. Are you serious? I need 15 wood to build a single wheel. I have no wood at all. All right. Well, looks like I'm going out and harvesting. Look at all these cows right here. I'm just coming back from the logging trip and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cows just hanging out right here. What? What is this? You guys have your own areas, I guess. All right, I think we got plenty of wood here. Uh, we'll definitely be able to build at least what we need. All right, now I think we have all the materials we need just as the sun is about to set so I get to build in the dark again. Great. <laughs> All right, now I think I've figured it out if I take this weld point right here and I attach it right to, oh, hold on. That's a little bit, that's a little bit too high, isn't it? I think I got to go one lower than that. So if I take this and attach it right there, does that look, does that look good? No, that's actually one high now. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, then this is in line with the bottom of the wheels. So then all we got to do is have a button and we will keep this button 
I guess right here it would be fine. And we attach it to both of these pistons. And then if these pistons are on like three or so, put the speed up to what it can be. We don't need them to be maxed out, maxed out pistons. Now what happens is when we press this button. Oh. So this is on three. And this is also on three. And it's not strong enough. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this. That's a little bit stronger. And I was able to fully upgrade both. But man, is it front heavy. I might need to move these pistons out to the front then. All right, I've made the necessary adjustment. Let's see if it works with the weight distribution of lifting this thing up. Go ahead and attach that there. Attach that there and lift. Oh boy, it is so slow. Let's, I don't know if speeding it up is going to change anything, but it's definitely not leaning anymore. It's up off the ground and that's what we wanted. So now we can put it down on the ground and we can lift it up. Hey, that works. It works. And when it's down, there's the ramp on the ground. Yeah, yeah, this could actually, this could actually be a thing. So now we just attach it to our vehicle, which has no center point. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, it's attached to the vehicle. Now let's see, I just got to attach, this is to lift up, that is number two, and then number three is to open and close the cage. So number two lifts it up, oh, I attached it to the wrong thing. That's not where it's supposed to be attached, my bad. Okay, so then this gets attached there, that gets attached there. So now number two, should lift it up off the ground, perfect. And then number three, should open and close the door. And then can we drive with it? Yes, we can. We do have some fuel. Now, now we have the moment of truth. Can we capture an actual farm bot? I'm gonna start with the greenies first because I feel like the greenies are gonna be the easiest. Oh, it is so floaty. Look how floaty. I should probably have four pistons on this, but it's working right now. Let's just test it. I wanna test it. I can make two more pistons pretty easily later. You know what? I'm gonna attach this bearing to steering because I kind of want it to have a little bit of max connections reached. Okay, well, let's go ahead and upgrade our seat then. Only takes one to upgrade and that's all we had. All right, so now if I turn to the right, that seems to work and I turn to the left because now if the, if the bearing is powered like that with the seat, then backing up, it should stay nice and straight, which is really what we want. Okay, so we got our greenie right over here. Man, I wish there were all these bushes weren't in the way and stuff. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it down now. Oh, that just stops us. I guess we need to wait until he starts coming after us. All right, and now down. All right, come on up. Come on up. He's not coming up. He's not coming up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now come on up. And trap. Oh, no. Oh, my bad. My <laughs> I crushed him with the door instead. Okay, come after me. Come after me. All right, come on up. In. And you're trapped. Oh, it's totally gonna kill him. It's totally gonna kill him, isn't it? Oh, oh. Oh! It's working. Oh, ugh. why does that happen? No, 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 no. What if I make it? I can't reach the... Oh, here we go. All right, I'm gonna make this slower. Apparently slower is better. <laughs> for the, for the tote bot. Okay, first test was not unsuccessful, but it wasn't exactly what we were looking for. We got the bot trapped with the inability to escape, but we did not trap him, unfortunately, with the ability to uh, stay alive, which arguably, arguably is important. All right, let's go ahead and lift this back up off the ground and let's go find ourselves another greenie. <laughs> Should I try it with a hay bot? You know what, let's try it with a haybot. Maybe it'll be less deadly on a haybot. Here he comes. All right, let's go ahead and put this down on the ground. Oh, I gotta open it. Open up. Okay, all right, all right, this isn't, um, this isn't working very well. Here, what if I, ouch. What if I get him to come inside? Yeah, he's inside. Okay, and dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> come on inside. Oh, no, 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 don't hit the side, don't hit the side, don't hit the side, don't hit the side. Come on inside. Right, and ah, no, 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 no. Inside, yes, yes, yes. And then, no, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Okay, hold on. 
Yeah, just follow me over my vehicle. He won't attack me on here, I don't think. All right, let's lift it up. Okay, now follow me. Ah, no, 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 don't go there. Don't attack, don't attack. Okay, now you can come. All right, come on in. Why are you, st oh, it's the walls. He's doing the wall thing again. Wait, but he came inside when I was in it. Come after me. Come after me, I'm right here. I'm right here. The hay bots are gonna be smarter than the greenies again, aren't they? This is the same issue we ran into with our catapults. When there's a wall in front of them, they stay back from the wall though, but they should wanna get through the wall. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, trap him. That was interesting. Okay, he's definitely getting damaged. Let's see if we can mitigate that. I'm sorry for the pain. We killed him again. We need to have the cage not kill the bots. Okay, it might be the speed at which it's uh, repeating. So let's go ahead and change it slower. Maybe like that. And I feel like the speed, like, I don't know what to do with the speed. Like this is the slowest speed right here. Do you think that'll do anything? Let's try two speed first and then we'll try the slowest speed. Come here, greenie. Come here. Yeah, right over here. And into the cage you go. And we trapped him. Okay, it's ragdolling him. <gasps> it's working. There's no damage and he's ragdolled. <gasps> Do you think I can bring him back without him like glitching through or getting hurt? This is working. You know what? I do need to I do need to separate the opening from the bouncy floor because I would like to actually be able to bring more in here and I have to not turn off the bouncy floor. I need to open it without turning off the bouncy floor. So I'm going to have to make it happen. I'm going to have to make it be two switches again. All right. So now we lift this up off the ground. Oh, that hurt him. Lifting it up off the ground hurt him. All right. Let's try to bring him back to the base now. We've literally captured a bot. I hope he doesn't like get up and start hitting stuff, but this is tier three metal, so it, he shouldn't. Oh no, he's getting hurt. I'm just gonna drive really, really gently. Cause I feel like changes in terrain, it changes the velocity that he gets hit. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, he just disappeared. He didn't even break. He literally just despawned. I didn't know that they did that. Well, that might be a problem for go for capturing and bringing back bots, but the cage still could work as a cage at home. Here, let's try it with the hay bot again. Oh, hay bots are fast. All right, and come on up. Come on in. Why do you, you stop at the perfect spot? Just a little bit more forward. I think I need to entice them a little bit. No. I wonder if I make an opening that he can kind of see through like that. I wonder if that'll do anything. Hold on. I can just get in the seat from here. If he follows me in. Ugh. Get in the seat, get in the seat. Oh no, I'm trapped. This is bad. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? Get in the seat and then close it. Am I not in the seat? Oh, I'm in the bed. Close it. There we go. We got him. We actually got him. Okay, now I'm gonna try to bring him back. Lift it up. And now we are transporting a hay bot back to our base. A captive hay bot. Oh, there's another one. Uh, I can't though. I can't open it without, Ah oh, man. Yeah, that's an issue. I'm not gonna be able to open it without the floor uh, stopping right. <gasps> He disappeared again. Okay, in that case. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Here, come after me. Come after me. Yes, this way. And then, huh, huh. There we go. Why isn't he falling over? There he goes, he fell over. Do you think if, what happens to him? I'm gonna watch him closely this time as we go back to our base. Because I have totally led bots back from far away and they follow me the whole time without um, despawning. 
But this seems to be different. See, he's in there. Like, we're not having any issues with him right now. I just missed it. I just went to see where I was going and now he's gone. I literally looked away for a second to see if I was getting on my ramp and he's gone. What is this? Let's put this down, open it back up, follow me. Right into here. There we go. Close it. And now he's ragdolled. All right, we got another one. Let's. I just want to bring one like back up onto my ramp over here and then just have him like stay here for a little bit. All right. There we go. We dropped the cage. All right, he's still bouncing around in here. Everything seems fine. I'm gonna make this look a little bit better by adding a nice border around this. So it doesn't just look like a hole. It actually looks like a window. Yeah, look at that. That looks good. All right, so now I could detach him from here and... In... Oh wait, is he detached now? I think he's completely detached. So if I move the vehicle, it's working. We've dropped him off. He's in the cage. We have our own captive Haybot. I wish it was daytime so I could get a screenshot of this. Do you think he can stick around till daytime? He hasn't despawned yet. It doesn't seem to be a time despawn. It seems to be a distance despawn. So the fact that he's still close to wherever we got him from, he might actually stay in here all night. I'm gonna put another window over here actually. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it is, we've gone through the night and some. It is now 5.30 in the morning. I've actually managed to, uh, I made some adjustments to this while he was in here bouncing around. I made it so now the opening and the floor are now on separate buttons. So if we want to capture more than one, um, we potentially have that ability. As you can see, I've added another window to this side so that we can look in from the ramp here. Um, I'm going to make some adjustments so that this window back here uh, from the inside, I actually want to be able to like get up onto a ledge so I can see my seat better from over here. So I might just add like a little bit of a thing right there. And here, let me see real quick. What's it like to, I hope my floor doesn't ragdoll me. Yeah, so now uh, maybe not quite this high, maybe one block lower. So now I should be able to jump up, get onto this and then get in my seat before he can hit me. All right, let's go ahead and get back out and close it before he falls out. Oh, oh you hit him, a, you hurt him a little bit there. The only unanswered question right now is what happens if I leave the area and come back? But I don't want to do that where I've left him because I left him in my actual base. I'd rather do that somewhere else. So I'm gonna do an experiment here for the sake of a screenshot. I am going to turn the floor off so he stands up and I kind of want to see what he does. Is he going to hit? He's just confused. He doesn't even know what to do. I don't even know if he knows. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now he's he's getting aggressive. This is concerning. This is concerning, but he's not hitting. He's not actually hitting anything. I'm sorry for all the screenshot sounds. One of these is going to be a good thumbnail. He seemed... Look at him. He's frustrated. He's hitting the floor, but he's not actually doing damage. Do they not attack tier three metal? I, I heard some comments say that they don't even attack tier three metal. I wasn't sure if that's true or not. Like, he seems like he's actually given up. Do we even need the bouncy floor? I'm just waiting for him to take one swipe, and then that confirms that we need the bouncy floor. Guys, this is, we have a captive farm bot, and he's actually like up on his feet and just hanging out in the cage. All right, I think I've gotten something good enough for a screenshot. So now what I'm gonna to attempt to do, I don't think this is going to work very well, but I'm gonna to attempt to attach my trailer back onto this, but, I, I have to do this without ever putting the cage on a lift because if I do then He's not gonna follow the cage with the lift because he's not attached to it So I hope that this is going to be able to work there. Yes Yes, so let's see if we can drive Oh, lift up. There we go. Let's see if we can drive off of here So now first I'm gonna attempt to capture another one and then I'm going to uh, leave the cage somewhere drive away a decent distance and then come back to see what happens. We need to test, we need to add some more tests to this thing. There we go, now close. Oh, no, we destroyed one. What happened to our door? All right, well, we just traded one for another, unfortunately, so I'm gonna go grab another one then. All right, here we go, it's very, very dark, but I have another one on me. Please don't go after the cows. Okay, he's focused on me. This is good, I still got the floor happening in here, so if he just follows me, into here. 
There we, oh, you should ragdoll, shouldn't you? There we go. I can get out and close the door. All right, we did it. We have two. We have two in here. Now, if I turn off the floor... Whoops, that's not the floor button. If I turn off the floor... How do they act together inside? All right, they're both just hanging out. All right, let's see if I can get a third one now. I'm gonna enter the ra I'm gonna activate the rag. Oh, that's not the rag doll. <laughs> I'm gonna activate the rag doll floor just to keep them disabled while I'm away from my vehicle because I don't trust them. I'm gonna have him follow me in here. There we go. And then he should be in here. And now we close the door. We can lift it up and turn off the floor. There we go. Does he swing at it? I feel like the greenies might act differently, so I'm a little bit worried that he's gonna, like, sw take a swing. This seems to be working just... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I thought one of them disappeared. The moving with them in the cage just standing and not ragdolling seems to be working just fine. They don't seem to be attempting to attack anything, which is great. All right, I'm gonna drop the... Oh! I'm gonna drop the cage right here. We've got three bots trapped now. Look at this. Ah! Ah! That's a lot of noise when they walk against that. I don't like it. So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes till daytime because I want I want another screenshot with all these guys in here. And then we're gonna do the test when I uh, run away out of the despawn area or drive away and then come back. Are they still gonna be here? Probably not. All right, I think I've gotten everything I needed. So now I'm just going to disconnect it. And I hope that... It's sliding, isn't it? Oh, you know, I can fix that. All I gotta do is a uh, little bit of that and it shouldn't really slide anymore. All right, there we go. So I'm just gonna leave this here and I'm gonna drive away. I'm gonna drive away until all this stuff despawns and then I'm gonna come back and see what the state of these guys are. They're probably gonna be gone. So say goodbye to our captives. Remember we had two hay bots and one little greenie. And I think we don't really have to go that far. We should see pretty much our entire base kind of disappear. If I have a line of sight to it. There we go. Our base disappeared. The cage has not disappeared. I haven't seen the cage. There we go. The cage just disappeared. Now let's head back. That's really not that far, is it? Come on. The cage is back now. And... What do we got? We have one. We have a Haybot. Yeah, let's go go away and come back again. See if this guy is still there. The other ones seem to have not fallen out of the cage. They seem to have just disappeared completely. All right, I'm moving even farther this time, just for good measure. All right, now let's head on back and see what happened to our Haybot. He's still there. What? I was not expecting. Why would some of them disappear, but this one doesn't? I'm gonna go really, really far away now. This is very like this is. Not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting that he would definitely be gone, right? This is really, really far. This is all the way to the trader, pretty much. All right, look, there's another Haybot, too. All right, we're gonna just ignore these guys. We're gonna head on back now. He's still here. Why is he still here? <laughs> what are you doing? For the time being, we have a captive Haybot, I guess. What should we name him? Let me know down in the comments below. But I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And hopefully no other Haybots come to save him. So yeah, this has actually turned out way more successful than I thought it was going to. I didn't think that we were gonna be able to trap a Haybot, let, it know, let alone let it just sit here upright and perfectly capable of taking swings and it not even try to escape. So this has been an amazingly successful experiment. And now we have a captive Haybot that needs a name. So leave the names down in the comments below. He may or may not be here next episode. You guys will find out. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy more like it on the end screen right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.